you're brilliantly crystallizing the really important questions in life. One of which is, how long have we got here? Yeah, well, there are some ideas about that because we still don't know enough about the forces that will end it all. Oh, sorry. Uh, we might have 100 years on Earth <laughs> what? at the rate we're going. <laughs> really? No, sorry. There's Earth issues that require geopolitical solutions. Self-harm. Okay, correct. And then there's the universe, the death of the sun, the collision of the Milky Way galaxy with the Andromeda galaxy, and possibly the Big Rip. How would, okay, how would the sun die? Oh, the sun, well, like any star, it will run out of fuel in its core, and it starts changing, it starts bloating, and getting so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. Okay, that would be terrifying. It, is this even starting to happen? No, not yet. No, we, we have another several billion years. So don't, <laughs> if you're going to prioritize... What, well, that's all right. That's a dropped intro, isn't it? <laughs> if you're going to prioritize... You could have said that to start with. What, you, what you're worried about. Yeah, let that one go. All right. But there's another one, the big rip that if the expansion of the universe accelerates at a continued rate and it goes unchecked, the universe will be expanding in 22 billion years. It'll be expanding faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it. And it'll just rip.